Hello folks, so um, this is just a little bit of an update of uh, what I'm doing on my focuser. Um, basically what happened is um, I upgraded my focuser into something like using a bigger motor. So first this one is like the MIMA 17 1.7 ampere and this, is what, this one is big and also I have the NEMA 17 1.7 amperes and this is the geared motor there you go you can see here it's the geared and this is the original one which is the NEMA 17.4 and this is the one that I'm working on and uh, it should be able to handle a lot of uh, weight um, can't uh, remember the torque of this but uh, this is very powerful and here this is the controller that I have I've have already connected it with the uh, um, the client but this is as an ASCOM compliant driver so let's just take a look I also increased the maximum acceleration and everything and uh, I'm using the easy driver for this one so this is the uh, easy driver can I show it? there you go so that is the easy driver and here let's see okay so this is that let's just make a simple step okay let's uh, reset the position to zero let's see there you go so it's uh, moving and you see that it's moving in there um, probably better to have some sort of a better way to see why how it's moving so I'm just going to put this in alright so let's try it again there I go it's moving and the speed I just put the maximum acceleration to 3000 but uh, let's see on the changes uh, let's say 3000 maximum speed and 3000 maximum uh, spe uh, speed the current speed or the initial speed then let's see there you go it's so fast but that kind of speed may damage the focuser so all right let's stop it so let's just uh, say 1000 is the maximum maximum speed there you go so this is the initial speed and this is the maximum speed and by the way this controller can support two motors so right now I just only have uh, one motor and of course let's just make this like this initial step 500 forward backward double step double step backward and this is how it should look like and reset the position to zero again we can if you set this to 10 you can barely see how much uh, step so we'll have a very good precision in terms of using this um, let's say 100 that's what 100 is and you see that it's moving moving and then reporting everything alright folks uh, that is the update so this should be able to hold um, very heavy uh, imaging train alright see you again thanks for watching